right there, broadcasting today. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Broadcasting today, not from the heart of Texas, but from the Corpus Christi Bay. <laughs> I decided I needed a change of atmosphere and a little sea breeze on me. Good morning. My guest today is Deborah Tavares. Her website is StopTheCrime.com. Good morning, Deborah. Well, good morning, um, Clay. Yes, um, I, we're running about five sites, and I'll just put them out right now. Uh, it is StopTheCrime.net. Think of a net in catching the criminals. So it's StopTheCrime.net. Okay. Okay. It is uh, RefuseSmartMeters.com, the sister site to RefuseSmartMeters.com where we're uploading uh, information daily, is smartmetersmurder.com. Very important to go there for smart meter updates. Again, that's smartmetersmurder.com. We have toxicsky.org and also toxicdrinkingwater.org. And you're talking to uh, me, and I am located in Central California, about an hour north of the Golden Gate Bridge, under heavily chemtrail skies today because we have been promised that we're going to have some rain. And so, of course, the rainmakers are up there dumping poisons and toxins and creating the clouds and forcing this weaponized weather that we're suffering from all over the world. And I can only say that when people hear the word weaponized weather, they pause and they go, what? Well, that's exactly what has happened. Uh, and it's unbelievable. People need to go to ToxicSky.org and Aircraft.com and uh, take a look at uh, the information as well as links to understand what has happened to all of us. And uh, essentially, the chemtrailing, the chemicals being released from primarily military operations over us is a human pesticide, and it's making people sick all over the world. And I want to say, too, that recently we heard a new take on this dulled skies, these silver gray skies that we're all under. Um, we're known, or we had been known in the wine country here in Northern California for our pristine blue skies. And it was interesting because we heard a weather uh, meteorolo meteorologist uh, inform us of the weather, and they referred to it as a soft sunshine. So they are rewriting uh, our words, Clay, Call, calling it now soft sunshine. But I can tell you it's a horrific, horrific attack upon all of humanity. We no longer can really have or claim that we have organic uh, vegetables or fruits because everything is being pelted with all of the various toxins uh, and the cocktails that they're dumping on all of us. It is just an unbelievable, unbelievable attack on humanity. So go to Toxic if, Sky. If you are, if you happen to be climbing a mountain uh, or you're up uh, on uh, Mount Rainier or Mount Shasta, I understand they have warning signs up telling you don't eat the white snow. Yes, you might be better off with the yellow snow. <laughs> well, that's absolutely true. Um, again, uh, this is a an assault globally. More and more people are waking up. Uh, as we go through the program today, Clay, we need to also offer action suggestions for people because we are under a massive assault from multiple directions. And uh, every day you need to be taking action. You need to be speaking up. Say it loud and clear. And how we say it is by having flyers available in our pockets, in our purses, in our cars. We use magnetic bumper signs all over our cars because we are the media. The media has forsaken us, betrayed us, and it is all propaganda. So the only way we can get the information out is putting information out ourselves in any way that you can. Here in Northern California, we do large banner hangs on the sides of our vehicles. Uh, 14 foot long banners and 4 foot uh, deep and we uh, park in strategic areas here in the wine country. You can do a traffic study in your area. Find out where the majority of cars travel. The highest 
uh, traveled streets and park on the shoulder of the road. And we, we put boxes by our car tires with information so people can pull over and grab a flyer. Uh, we find now, because people have actively been really focusing on the toxicsky.org, because we have large bumper stickers on our cars. We're talking, depending on the size of your vehicle, of course, but if you have an SUV, heaven help you, you can put signs the size of for sale signs that you put on your houses. And then that way people can see the information and get the websites and go on to them. And ToxicSky.org is a very simple website to remember. So as you're driving down the freeway, we find we're having people honking and giving thumbs up, asking for information, and that is the only way to get this out. We've gone to our local um, radio program. They won't murmur a word, even though you can tell them to go outside and look up and see that they are being sprayed and poisoned, too. They continually say those are jet contrails, even though where we are, we're not under any jets that are flying out of San Francisco or Oakland. We're just near a small airport where the in and out traffic is very low. And so people are waking up. That's a good place for people to wake up and uh, start looking at all of the other um, unbelievable sci-fi movie script reality that we're really in. And when people refer to us as conspiracy theorists, uh, we always say to them, sadly, they are in the con con contrived conspiracy. They're the ones that have been conspired against. They need to understand what is happening to our country. More importantly, what's happening to our children. While we are still able to function and act, we must... <laughs> I have to tell you, uh, and, and pardon me for digressing if I, if I am digressing. You know, I've been trying to tell people what was wrong with this. Hang on there. I've been trying to tell people what was wrong with this, with the chemtrails. I've been trying to tell them about that for about 15 years. I put the first video out, chemtrails, the video, which is still for sale on UFO TV and from the Free American site. And I put that out, and I was advertising it in my Free American magazine. And I have got, I just put, I, I, Anthony Hilder has been, he and I have been friends for a long time, and he came out to see me in Tucson and uh, did a film for his aircraft video. I'm not hearing you right now. Um, and I had uncovered, okay, uh, uh, Hans, Hans, she's not hearing me here. Okay. Can you, uh, I, I, hear you, okay. I hear you now. Okay. All right. The uh, Anthony came to me in Tucson and wanted to uh, uh, film me because uh, uh, I had new information about Evergreen Air, just uh, a little air park, just an air park, just north of Tucson. And uh, I went to Google Earth and got photographs of the evergreen airplanes, which I, uh, my information said that this is where the uh, chemtrails are coming out of. And uh, it's interesting, the evergreen air, you can read evergreen air from the top of the planes, but you can't see anything, any identification from the bottom of the planes. And shortly after we made that video, which is up on my Facebook page, and I've just put a link up on, up on, uh, from YouTube, up on my chat room here in Revolution Radio. It wasn't uh, about a few months after that that Anthony Helder had a stroke. Now, when I made the video almost 15 years ago, Kim Trails, I I did I went up to Phoenix and uh, they had a flea market up there and I got there about six o'clock in the morning, put my trailer up, 
and I had the videos, the Kim Trail videos up there, and I had the, uh, that was on the cover of the current issue of the Free America. And when we got there, when we got to the uh, thing, got it all set up, got my books out there, got my videos out there, got the magazines out there, they started spraying. This was a beautiful, cloudless day in Phoenix. By noon, the sky was totally occluded. And while this was happening, they were crisscrossing over Phoenix in a grid pattern. And while this was happening, as people would walk by 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, I was going, oh, I was like a carnival barker, you know, and I've got a voice that carries anyway. And I was saying, now, folks, this this issue of the magazine, this issue of the Free American right here is about what's happening right now, right happening right now above you. Look, look up, ladies and gentlemen, look up, look up. Here's what's going on. Here it is on the cover of this magazine. Look up, look up. Deborah, nobody would look up. Well, One I woman walked by and go, that's just propaganda. I said, well, ma'am, the only propaganda here was a news was a newspaper you had today. Go ahead, dear. Well, Clay, uh, definitely you were ahead of your time, and you led the way to the continual drumbeating of the topic, where now uh, things have gotten so severe. The government is not a government. We've been taken over by corporations. We're at war. They are at war with us. War was declared uh, back in the 50s. You can go to our website, stopthecrime.net, and you can look at the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document, and war has been declared against the American people and all of global society by the Illuminati. And uh, you can see their plans in the Iron Mountain report. Everybody that's listening must go and listen to these reports. These are written by them. And if you haven't looked at them yet, um, please immediately do so. Go to the source documents on StopTheCrime.net and know this, and this is a quote, we'll know our disinformation campaign is complete when absolutely everything the American people believe in is false. This is by William Casey, the director of the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, in 1981, and that is absolutely true. It is complete disinformation, and the American people have been so mightily deceived and betrayed by a government now that doesn't even exist. It is a shadow government run by corporations. We are USA, Inc. We are not America, as we had the idea of 1776. It is no longer that. And when you read the source documents and you look at the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document, you will see how they fashioned the um, Republicans and Democrats in all of the elections to serve their ends, to calm us down in between their treasonous uh, actions against all of us, to give us the sense that our voting would matter. When all along, underneath it all, were the international banks. And, it's, and it will say that in those documents. You must read them immediately. And, Clay, as we um, discuss uh, on this program today, we definitely want to get into uh, what is happening uh, with uh, some of the local issues just so that people can watch out. But then we need to get into the bigger issues uh, of the NASA war document, which we will cover. All of this, again, is on our website. And uh, what I wanted to just talk about locally uh, quickly um, is that um, yesterday uh, we went to a farmer's market. And I had heard last week that the Central Valley here in California that grows the majority of the nation's almonds and walnuts, by the way, has been really hard hit for the lack of bees, honeybees, because of the bee colony collapse. The almond orchards are not being pollinated, and the almond growers are losing huge amounts of revenue uh, in watering, taking care of the trees, and they're not getting pollinated. 
So I went to the farmer's market yesterday, and I was told that the many of the growers now are pulling their almond trees and replacing them with walnut trees because walnuts do not need to be pollinated by bees. They're self-pollinating. And I can only tell you, we're going to watch one by one our available food supply shrinking. As you recall, just a couple of weeks ago, just before Easter, the White House went ahead and gave Monsanto a protection act. Monsanto Protection Act. So they cannot be sued for any of the deaths and or deformities uh, and everything else that these Terminator seeds are going to do to all of us. This is a soft kill depopulation that our racketeering government has conspired against all of us on every level. So I can tell you, start checking off the list as food items diminish from our markets and stores and as it narrows and narrows. When I interviewed Ted Turner about a year and a half ago, which you can find on Ted the Terrible Turner, you can just Google, um, YouTube it, Ted the Terrible Turner, he said that there would be shrinkage of food supplies uh, and water and because of global warming, which, of course, we know is a lie. It's a contrived lie. And they've conspired against us through fear. This is how they've been controlling the global population, is cont contriving fear uh, with um, events that don't exist. The Iron Mountain Report is a perfect uh, explanation of what has happened with this global warming hoax. And you can see that um, uh, also what we're seeing now on the gun issue is demonstrated in the Iron Mountain Report on StopTheCrime.net where they socially purify on and in the news media different groups. They create terrorists out of groups. For example, what's illustrated in the Iron Mountain documentary in the movie is uh, the Branch Davidian, David Crush, uh, how they attacked. Uh, they tried, sentenced, and murdered that entire Branch Davidian. Hold back. Um, All right. I got, we got it back here. Can you hear me, Deborah? I do. I hear you. I was just talking about the social purification and what the news media is doing under the uh, instruction of the Illuminati uh, in uh, demonizing different groups of people. Now we have the veterans being demonized. We have gun owners being demonized. We have Christians being demonized, Catholics. Everyone that will not go along with the new world order will be demonized and ultimately exterminated. Now, we just cannot accept this. We must oppose. We must refuse. They still need our compliance. Uh, they need our compliance with implementing this murderous smart grid with the smart meters on our homes. You must refuse the smart meters that they're... Yes, Clay? Yes, and there, you know, I've been saying this for years, that we are in a war. And they, if, if you know, you never, the news media never talks about the 60 million white Christian Russians that were murdered by the communist regime the Jewish communist regime. But if I use the term Jew, I, I'm anti-Semitic. I'm called anti-Semitic. I'm, I'm, I'm demonized. And they, uh, they will try to call, and have done this, they've called advertisers. They've tried to, even, even uh, when my motorcycle magazine was sold for half a million bucks, and I still retain 50% of it, it took them three days to contact every stockholder in the uh, in, in a, a publicly traded company to tell them what uh, what a racist anti-Semite I am. Now, the truth is, I don't care what race you are. We all bleed red. 
We all eat the same food. I don't care what the religion you are. The Constitution covers that. The First Amendment of the Constitution covers that. Now, I've got a film, a clip of a film up. Uh, I believe a man by the name of Mark Dice went out on the uh, pier down there in Santa Monica, it looks like, and and started talking, stopping people on the pier, walking down the street, tell them they need to sign this petition. This uh, this petition uh, to to repeal the Second Amendment. Now now we it's okay for the police to have guns, but we can't have these right wing Tea Party nutcases uh, uh, armed. You know now now this one and it took me a little while to get into it to to realize that basically he's on our side and he just demonstrated how damn dumb Americans have been become. They have been dumbed down. I, I remember interviewing Charlotte Azerbaijan 15 years ago, and and she was trying to tell us then they are dumbing us down. And there's a film that I've got up on my website at the top of it right now absolutely proves that. I mean, people are signing this. Yeah, we're 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 going to take away the uh, guns from uh, you know the NRA and 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 you know uh, uh, legal Americans. Uh, it, it probably won't stop the uh, gangbangers or anything. They'll still have their guns, but we can depend on the police to take care of this. It's a. Uh, I, I recommend everybody watch that. And by the way, Deborah, if you would send me an email with uh, to Clay at Free American with all of the. Uh, website i'll put, have that up before the show is over on uh haven't had the money to uh restore them and this is the other thing they do folks they have if you as carl clang said about uh 15 years ago if you got your very own print and press pretty soon you could buy up the whole neighborhood and and our founding fathers 200 some odd years ago John Thomas Jefferson warned you, if you ever allow a private bank to issue our money, your money, the banks and the corporations that spring up around them will leave your children homeless in the land that we conquered. Now, you mentioned Monsanto. When when the communists took over Russia and started killing people, they killed over 11 million people in the Ukraine. That was the breadbasket of, of Russia. That, that's so absolutely it, true. It, it it's, was like, yes, in fact, Clay, there is an excellent movie up it, on it was like, it was like one after Pansy. Clay, ahead. you're cutting out. Clay, you are cutting yeah, so out. Yeah, so were you, but I think we got to. It's okay, uh, Deborah. We can still hear you. Hans will take care of that. Okay, wonderful. I wanted to say, because you just were talking about seizing the food supply, the breadbasket in Ukraine um, during Stalin, and uh, there's an excellent movie on StopTheCrime.net um, calling, uh, it's called um, uh, uh, Harvest, um, um, Harvest of Despair. So everybody needs to watch that and see what that looks like, because that is what is happening here in the United States. And when I talked about the almonds, I'm talking about everything. They are hitting our food supply, not just by the fact that the bees are collapsing because of frequencies and chemtrails, but also because uh, they are collapsing everything through weaponized weather events. And they are performing chemical lobotomies on every single one of us. They're getting us to line up and get vaccinated, eat their poisonous, toxic foods with aspartame and food colorings that are toxic. When we uh, get into the NASA document, which is unbelievable, again, that's on StopTheCrime.net, you will see the intention to poison everything, even our vitamins. And uh, you will see that this is a a covert government, non-government, with every agency that we ever thought was supporting our freedom turned against us. We are now in the crosshairs of a military-industrial complex that is run 
by the global elite Illuminati power structure. And they are, uh, they have every American in the crosshairs, as they do other countries with civilians as well. You will read in the Quiet Weapons Silent War document that war is therefore a balancing system by killing the true creditors, the public, which the elites have taught to exchange true value for, of inflated, for inflated currency and falling back on whatever is left of the resources of nature and the regeneration of those resources. Now, we've got to say, they're, they're destroying the resources that we could fall back upon. And this leads to also another segue of the massive amounts of tent cities now and homeless um, communities all over the nation. Uh, there is a veterans tent city in the San Francisco area, and they were talking about it on a talk show a few weeks ago, how every few uh, months the um, uh, militarized police system goes through there and tears apart the homeless encampment, only to have them return in a few months. And what they're doing is they're uh, taking them down. These people in these homeless areas never have time to grow any food or to sustain themselves because they're only limited by a few months or a few weeks. And I read this, too. When you camp in a park now, there's a minimum times in which you can camp. So, again, anyone that's trying to survive, they're minimizing your ability to survive. Also, in the silent weapons system, uh, and in the document, again, on StopTheCrime.net, it talks about how the silent weapon system operates upon data obtained from a docile public by legal, but not always lawful, force. When the government is able to collect tax, which today is tax day, it's April the 15th, and seize private property without justification, it is an indication that the public is ripe for surrender and is consenting to enslavement and legal encroachment. They go on to talk about how they will reduce the population through every means possible. Through war, they call us useless and useful fodder. They send our military men and women overseas, and they um, dump toxins on them, and they come back sick. Then they go to the VA because they're advised you have post-traumatic stress syndrome to go and get some short-term assistance with some uh, psychotropic drugs to help you make that transition back into um, a jobless society here in the United States. And now we're finding any vets that have taken any, any drugs at all now are in question whether they can have their firearms permit, which are now being taken from the vets. We are in a sick, sick system. And while everyone listening can still think and understand what we're talking about, you must engage. You must. You absolutely must speak out, get flyers out, put signs on your car, go to community meetings and speak up. Don't be embarrassed. This is why the elites want to replace us with machines. They believe that our embarrassment, our um, egos, all of the human aspects, love, all of these things get in the way of useful production. And they are in the process of changing evolution and replacing humans with machines. They will be, the elites will be the cyborgs, the ones with the brains because they believe now they have indefinite life extension. They've been mapping brains, and we've been seeing recently a lot of talk in the news about the extent of the rise of the robots. Even Google, uh, the, the Google chief warns that armed drones will soon be in the hands of terrorists and miniature models could be used to spy on our neighbors. He t everyone is starting to talk about the rise of the machine. And um, even Al Gore, we went to a recent book review of his. His book is called The Future. 
and people are going to be replaced by artificial intelligence. They're rolling out over 5 million robots in China into the manufacturing industry, and that will replace millions and millions of Chinese workers. They will be jobless. They pull them in off the farms. They get them regionalized in tight, compact cities for, for employment, and then they pull the rug out from underneath them. And I can only say that that is happening here in the United States. They're, they're attacking farmers and ranchers that are on the peripheral of the cities right now with fish and game and the um, forest uh, departments. Uh, they're fining, penalizing, and regulating farmers off their lands. They're seizing um, organically grown produce. In instances, we're, we're hearing that they required one rancher to destroy all of his pigs because it had some, they had some spots on their coats. They didn't meet the requirements, and they told the slaughterhouse not to accept his pigs for slaughter. And so this uh, man now uh, is uh, in a lawsuit to try to um, continue on with his business, but he had to slaughter all his pigs. They are hitting the food supply in every way for plausible deniability. This is another let me, way. Let me, let me point out also that the attack, and it was an attack, wasn't no accident, on the oil rig down there in the Gulf of uh, Mexico was another attack on with the airborne laser that they've got up in space. They brag. I, I went to White Sands Missile Range. I lived just a few miles from the White Sands Missile Range. Matter of fact, I ended up moving about 10 uh, into a a uh, small town there, right next to White Sands, but less than 10 miles from where they dropped the first atomic bomb. And uh, they uh, they had Rancher's Day every day, so I got uh, I, I got to go up on the top of the mountain next to my house, and I knew a lot of the guys there. They came by and visited and uh, bought magazines from me. I got to go up there into, uh, there's an observatory at the top of that mountain that is the home of a joint Israeli United States project called Airborne Lasers. And they bragged to me, we can hit the O in God on a dime in the hands of a running man at 50 miles. Now, you remember when the uh, space shuttle went down with the Israeli on board? They uh, came on the television. They said, "Oh, there's no weapon that could. Uh, this couldn't have been a terrorist attack. There's no weapon that could uh, reach uh, have reached the space shuttle." Well, it just happened to blow up right above the White Sands missile range, right above the airborne laser. And the range on that is classified. They wouldn't tell me that, but it's well over 200 miles. And certainly can reach from a satellite down to Earth or from White Sands Missile Range up to explode and destroy, I believe that was the Challenger. So this is this is happening, folks. This is real. And and you know, we the I filmed the first Homeland Security meeting. Now this is uh, that true face of FEMA is still available. It's up on my website, it's up on the shop. I've now got a shop up. And then the true face of FEMA, Colonel John Brinkerhoff, is lecturing the law enforcement at Sandia Labs in, uh, on Kirtland Air Force Base. And he says, we're, this is right after FEMA had been rolled into Homeland Security, Department of Homeland Security. We're in for a, a long war, and the enemy's weak. The enemy's weak. He, uh, 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 so he's going to, he doesn't have tanks, he doesn't have planes, he doesn't have helicopters, so he's going to... He's going to use unconventional tactics, and we have to do that, too. We have to counter that in case of a, a nuclear strike or a, a disaster of significant proportions, like a hurricane, like a, and uh, I believe the, uh, term, the, the term he used was an earthquake along the New Madrid fault line. We'll need 400,000 well-armed, well-trained, organized, disciplined troops to control the American 
because some of them, oh, uh, uh, or a, 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 a single outbreak of smallpox in a major metropolitan area. We're needing people because some, some Americans just won't follow orders. Now, well, you know, they, Clay, and he, uh, his referral. Go ahead, dear. Yes, I wanted to just say a perfect example of what people can see. Exactly what you're saying is in the Iron Mountain documentary. They can see how how FEMA has been set up. We see surveillance now in all of our cities on all our roads. This is all part of what the smart meter in the smart grid is all about. It is about putting sensors in everything, even concrete and steel. Go to smartmetersmurder.com and watch the Oath Keepers talk that I gave, and you will see PowerPoints that we've captured off of a variety of different government websites, including uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, and the PSI infrastructure website, where they talk about, uh, in their mission statement, a secret, hid a hidden secret that they will be replacing all in, uh, traditional infrastructure, which will control everything with um, uh, infrastructure based on computers and data collection. And we know that in Bluffdale, Utah, that one million square foot data collection building under NSA is being set up. We know that they're all over the United States. There are many locations where they will be receiving the avalanche of data that they're collecting on each and every single one of us. And people think, well, why do they care about me individually? We are cattle to them. They're tagging us. They're marking us. They're tracking us. And this is, this is horrific. This is like a game. This is like a computer game. Go and watch some of the computer games that your children are playing. Go look at these games. This is a game. And when you look at a movie, Cabin in the Woods, it's a fairly new movie, Cabin in the Woods, you will see how these people are in a central computer control um, bunker building and how they control the people, us. This is real. This is mind control through cell phone towers, through all the wireless. Your smartphone is a control device. It is a radiating depopulation device. It was really never set up for your convenience to make phone calls. It is a radiating device. It is injuring your DNA. This is what their plan is, and it's tracking you. There are studies from all over the world, thousands and thousands of studies. Go to, just for an example, um, smartmetersmurder.com and listen to what Barry, B-A-R-R-Y, Trower, T-R-O-W-E-R, uh, says. He's a scientist out of the U.K., and he talks about how the cell phones are used to depopulate and to uh, benefit Big Pharma. Because what is happening? People are becoming ill. They're getting headaches. They're irritable. Their legs will twitch. Big Pharma has a uh, excellent medication for uh, ringing of the ears, which is all part of the frequency attack upon us. Their medication for ear ringing is called Quietus. You can go and you can uh, dose yourself with Quietus. They're creating all these illnesses, this mass attack upon us, poisoning us, and then offering us poisonous remedies. This is happening. This is real. And again, they are creating chemical lobotomies on all of us. So I can only say, again, while you are still well or marginally well and aware, you've got to get this information out. People can sidestep a lot of this attack, not everything, but we can sidestep much of it. We need to try to survive. We must try to save our children. Our children are relying upon us. We are in a war. The battle is on our territory, and we are, are being called into action. We must understand this. 
the they've been fast tracking. Now, in my two patient FEMA, in two patient FEMA, Colonel Brinkerhoff is telling us that this war will be fought on American soil. And I have pointed out to people that the hope for for years now that uh, the war on terror is a war against anyone, anywhere that doesn't want to go along with the new world order, one world government of the bankers, by the bankers, and for the bankers. That's exactly right, Clay. Exactly uh, right. And and what they've done to me is try to kill me. I mean, uh, I need I need some uh, a few little things. I mean, I've got everything trimmed down to the uh, to the bone to the bone here, and uh, yet I, everything we're talking about now, I've been telling people for over ten years. The truth patient beam has been out for over ten years. The free American was out for uh, ten years before they tried to kill me. And what they've done is try to stop any income. Now, I'm asking you folks right now, but go to freeamerican.com. I've got my, my website set up now with a shopping cart. You can order my videos. You can order my books. And the true face of FEMA, I told you in the uh, there about uh, what they plan to do, that the war was going to be uh, going to be a long war uh, that maybe go longer than the Cold War, and it's going to be fought on American soil. They're just not telling you that the enemy they're discussing is you, the American people. Now, I came out with my book, Mystery Babylon, The New World Order Unveiled, uh, about 15 years after I discovered the CIA was bringing all of the drugs into this country, the CIA and Mossad, and frankly, folks, there is no difference between the CIA and the Israeli secret service called warfare by deception is their motto. That's a Mossad. And I discovered Colonel Edward P. Cotolo's document that stated that George Bush was covering for Michael Harari, who was Manuel Noriega's handler, and and that uh, the air base, Albrook Air Base in Panama, was being used to bring in over 100 planes, plane loads of cocaine into from Colombia. And my friend William Tyree, who's doing life in Walpole Prison, because they murdered his wife and set him, blamed him for the murder, set him up. Cotolo reveals in the document that he didn't do nothing. He didn't do any of that. But uh, they, they put him in prison because they didn't want that information getting out. They released part uh, one half of the operation, which you might know as Iran-Contra, but the part that you didn't know, the Operation Watchtower and Operation Orwell, George Orwell, was a cover-up. And, uh, well, uh, another gentleman that I just happened to know, I got to meet, Barry Seal, was flying all of the cocaine up to a protected air base in America called Mena, Arkansas, where it was protected and kept... The state boys were kept off of that by Governor Bill Clinton. Now, folks, this is how deep this goes. And that was the first time, Deborah, that the CIA showed up to threaten me. We we got to, we vetted all this during the Noriega trial, but don't do anything like that again, Clay. We're gonna let you live this time, but don't don't do that again. And, uh, folks. <laughs> Well, Clay, I've got to tell you, this is so deep that most people can't even believe what they're hearing right now. But we know that the shadow government's basis of operation is Dope, Inc. They, uh, they peddle all the drugs. They peddle all the dope. In fact, they also peddle all the pedophilia, all of the um, uh, trading of um, children for ritualistic sacrificial orgies, and it is a sick, satanic, luciferian, uh, evil. We are in a battle between good and evil, and evil is unmasked now. And all now that I'm seeing, uh, Clay, is that everyone now seems to understand there's something really wrong, 
everybody in their subconscious realizes. I mean, they've collapsed the economy. It's, it's, our jobless rates are enormous. We, we have a, an enormous and growing homeless society. All of our roads and infrastructure across the nation are crumbling. This is all by design. And uh, we are being systematically gutted. Even Al Gore, in his talk about his book, said the middle class in America is being hollowed out. His words, hollowed out. And it will not be returning. They've shipped all our manufacturing offshore. They've gutted American know-how and manufacturing. They've sent it out. They're continuing to try to create the lack of ability for us to survive. That's what they're doing. And everyone that's listening has got to realize this is real. This is happening. To bring it back on a more uh, uh, tangible level for some people, Clay, some people have received, I should say not some, but all the ranchers and farmers across the nation received a few months ago a USDA agricultural census form, some 20-plus pages requiring in-depth information on their farms and ranches. Every square inch needed to have some discussion of what you were doing. What equipment do you own? How is your runoff on your property dealt with? What exactly are you growing? What kind of seeds do you have in storage? Uh, do you work on your farm? And, and how many non-paid workers, uh, family members, work on the farm? How many hours are they working on the farm? This is for inventory. Right now, under UN Agenda 21, which they've now renamed Future Earth or Sustainable Development, they are creating and doing a global inventory of everything. And so... I know there are many ranchers that are refusing to fill out this data. Remember, they are relying on data to move forward with this horrific plan to destroy us. We've got to not give them data. Do not use a credit card if at all possible. Don't fill out forms. Don't give out your information. Do not. These are things that you can do now. You must. If we're going to survive this, you've got to cut off the information. The supply line to their survival is giving our data. The census form is a covert secret operation on all the farms and ranchers. And this is to redistribute all the resources, including food. And as I said, this is under Agenda 21. This is all part of abolishing private property ownership and to achieve the goal and control of all the farmers, the land use, the water, the energy, and restrictions on wealth formation. Under Agenda 21, you must understand individual liberties are gone, prosperity gone, privacy gone, property rights are gone, freedom to travel, they're minimizing that. That's why they're not repairing the roads. When you look at the Wildlands Project map on StopTheCrime.net, you will see that human access is being denied. They are transitioning and transforming the United States. There's a map of the United States, and you will see how they are uh, under the mandated United Nations Biodiversity Treaty. This is a treaty that we signed on to. This shows you the forced transformation and relocation of all American cities to comply with environmental policies and reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. And you can see on the map where there are reserve corridors that will have little or no human use allowed. You will see buffer zones that indicate highly regulated use by humans. And then you will see the human settlement reservations that will have allowed human use. All you need to do to get a visual of this is go and see the Hunger Games. That's a perfect example by Hollywood, which is a wizard's cane, to, to socially um, give you the pictures through the media of what things are going to look like. We don't have to accept this. 
We do not. We need to defend the farmers and ranchers. Those are, they are our food supply. They're suffering on the peripheral of large cities under assault, heavy assault, by the FDA and the forestry and fish and game. And also now there is a new tax on water runoff, on rain. They are going to, by satellite, look at all of the roofs. We're talking all roofs above every structure in the United States. They are going to come up with a fee, a tax, for runoff they claim will pollute the, de- the rivers and the runoff from our properties, and we're going to be assessed a tax. Not, this is happening now in Los Angeles. They just approved this. They called it the, the mountains to beach uh, tax because they said that the beaches are being polluted. There's increased um, bacteria levels on the beaches. So what do they do? They close the beaches up because they say there's increased bacteria levels, and then they have to implement a tax so that they can clean up all human pollution that they claim is caused by us. Well, they're dumping toxins and chemicals and pollution every day in the sky from the jets. Again, this is illustrated in the Iron Mountain report. They will pollute as necessary. All right. We're back. You are listening to the Free American. I am Clay Douglas, and I've been in this battle for a long time. And all I see on the chat room, not people are commenting on the danger that we're in. They're not commenting on um, the information that Deborah has uh, done uh, for websites on. They're 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 talking about they're just talking about something that's totally uh, totally left wing totally off the off the wall and uh, accusing me of attacking people. I'm doing a radio show here. I'm not attacking nobody, but I don't like people. I don't like trolls, and I don't like people not paying attention. We have we are in a war, and I have been in this war for well. A lot longer than most of you, probably 50 years. And uh, everything uh, that we're telling you today, I try, I told you 15 to 20 years ago. And uh, Deborah, this is, but this is standard. They attack me. Oh, that case I'm talking about hate. Why, have you mentioned that Israel got 400 nuclear weapons and threatened every capital in, uh, 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 in Europe? Well, I'll tell you, Clay, Clay, what what is absolutely true is that we are in the jaws of a beast. And whatever anyone uh, is affronted by, uh, they need to cast that aside and look at the documents, the government documents that are in place, that are destroying us all right now, each and every single day. You must go to uh, StopTheCrime.net and look at that Wildlands Project map that we were speaking about and understand one of the premises under that is the human population must be reduced. All human life and non-human are equal. And they say that resource consumption above what is needed to supply vital human needs is immoral. They also talk about that the Western civilization must radically change change present economic, technological, and ideological structures. And this is being funded by hundreds of participants, including the, the Turner Foundation. Now, the, Ted Turner owns, uh, he's one of the, he's the second largest private landowner in the United States. He is behind this Wildlands Project, where they're taking our private property. Wake up and stop bickering about other things that offend you. We are at war. The war is attacking every level of our human existence right now. Do not derail yourself with, with being affronted by anything right now that anybody is saying. Because I can tell you, you can go look at the records, the government information, the data. It says for itself, because I'll... This is a Martin Luther King quote, and I'll tell you, 
In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. And that is what is happening right now. We must tell the pr- truth, and we must live by right conduct, and we, we must help other people become aware of the extent of the attack upon us while there's still time. Because many, many All people... Right. Need- uh, Deborah, let me let me just show you, give you an example here of the trolls in the chat room here. Iron Mountain was uh, written by an author as a work of fiction. It was published in the 60s. So many people began to think it was an actual government document and has started all kind of conspiracy groups that the author came out and verified that it was a work of fiction. Ten years after that, the conspiracies were still going, so they republished the book with a new preface that it's explicitly explained it was a work of fiction. Now, here we are 20 after years after that. The folks still don't get it. This is uh, H. Heisenberg on the uh, chat room. But this is the same kind of thing that I get when I point out that the Protocols of the Elders of Zion is a 200-year-old plan for one world government under Satan. Under That's Satan. absolutely right. And I, and I can tell you this. Here's a quote uh, that John F. Kennedy said in part of a speech. And this is, again, on our website. But here it is. This is just a week and a half or so before he was assassinated. He was talking about these things. And he says, quote, For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies on covert means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system that has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. This is real. So get over your bickering and get and everyone needs to get beyond the divisiveness and wake up and do some homework and understand that this is this is confronting every single one of us with every breath we take now because we are being poisoned by our water, our food and our air. They're poisoning the soil. They're changing the pH so that only Monsanto toxic seeds can grow, which will require their their fertilizer. This is to control all resources globally, food, electricity, water, gas, you name it. This is for global energy dominance by the elite to crush and control and replace us. Now, let's get into the NASA war document a little bit, Clay, for all the trolls that are in your chat room and have them go to StopTheCrime.net and take a look under the source documents, the NASA war plans uh, that were uh, taken off of the NASA website and understand what I'm going to tell you is in the document itself verbatim. Okay, I'm going to tell you on page four. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you that it was presented by Dennis Bushnell, the chief NASA scientist out of Langley in 2001, just a few months before um, the Trade Center um, debacle, the, the, tra- the World Trade Center collapse. And on page four of the document, it says that the presentation is based in all cases upon existing data, trends, analysis, and technologies, and that there is no pixie dust. This document, the NASA document, is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. And on page 66, it says, increasingly critical are human limitations and downsides. Humans are too large, too heavy, too tender, too slow physically and mentally, require huge logistics, we cost too much, and humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value. The very, very next page, 67, of the NASA document says robotics in the large. Robots save lives, it's enhanced affordability, 
It redefines risk and threat to the environment and enhances effectiveness. Then we go to page uh, 93. It says uh, that they will exploit the CNN syndrome. That is the network, CNN, which was set up by the CIA. They're going to exploit it. They're going to create mass psychological terror. They will sink carriers via swarm attacks. Um, Americans, they will capture and torture Americans in prime time on television. Terror attacks within the continental United States. They will use binary attacks, biologicals. They will take down critical infrastructure. They will use radiation frequencies against our brains. EMPs, which is electrical magnetic pulse, meaning they, will, they can take down, they have the choice to take down all of our utilities. They will create and cause serious psychological warfare and collateral damage and exploitation. This is in this document. They are doing it. This is what they are planning to do. They say on page you 9... Have on your, you have that up on your site, don't you? I one do. Of your sites? I do. It's on StopTheCrime.net, and it's the NASA war plans. And on page 9, it says humans have taken over and vastly shortened evolution. They plan to redirect evolution. Everyone that's listening, listen carefully. They are transforming our DNA. The overhead aerial spraying is all part of this DNA trans transformation of all of us. We are unpredictable. They tell us exactly what they think. They've been saying they want to eliminate and reduce the global population. They're using frequencies to do that. They wrote that in, they wrote that in stone. They, they wrote that in stone, Deborah, called the, the Georgia Guide Stone. That's exactly right. And what and we need... They, they say they want to reduce the population of the planet by 500 million. That's right. And they're doing it now. They've been doing it, but now it's amped up because the level of technology has allowed them what used to be a few years to accomplish is now happening in a matter of days and weeks now. We are in the end game. And for anybody that's listening that doesn't understand that, all you need to do is read their documents. We're not making any of this up. In fact, I'm not even emphasizing as strongly as I wish personally that I could. Because if everyone understood what is happening, they would be out there becoming the media that we so desperately need. Understand that the um, smart grid deployment, they use the word deployment, this is a military deployment upon every home and building in the United States, in fact, globally, with the smart meters. This is an enslavement and surveillance device, and it pumps radiation through your homes. So this is a planned, another aspect of their planned planetary poisoning with radiation. This is pulsed genocide electromagnetically. Understand this. Also, the same thing with the cell towers, the cell phones, all the wireless devices. This is microwave radiation, and this is a disguised genocide. Make no mistake. You can see how they're disguising the cell phone towers all over the country. They're creating them as trees, uh, church steeples, yucca cactuses in the desert. People will not be able to travel, and that's part of the UN Agenda 21 plan for the 21st century under the sustainability guise and lies. And people will not feel well as they're traveling down major interstates because of the pulsed electri uh, radiation frequencies. People will have heart attacks and strokes, minor headaches, um, discomfort. And what they're doing, this is induced electrical currents, and they are hijacking our nervous systems with these frequencies. Make no mistake about this. And they talk about this not only in, in the NASA document, how they will use uh, frequencies to disable us. For example, on page 50 of the NASA document, they say effects of low-power microwaves. And they cite the U.S. Army document, which we have up on our website under source documents. It's only 21 pages. 
they talk about the new war will not be with bullets, by the way. It's going to be with frequencies and all kinds of other attacks as well. But on page 50 of the NASA document, they talk about how there will be behavioral performance degrades, seizures, gross alteration of brain function, 30 to 100 percent increases in brain blood flow, lethality. They tell us what they're doing. Go to antennasearch.com. That is antennasearch.com. You key in your address, addresses of your loved ones, everywhere you go, and download the locations of the antennas and the cell towers in your neighborhoods, in your communities. These are weapons. These are weapons. These are being used to take us down in our communities. For an example... You can look at Brzezinski's book, Between Two Ages, and you will see how they even discussed then, on page 57, artificially excited electronic strokes. They say it's a system to seriously impair brain performance on very large populations in selected regions over an extended period of time. And they said no matter how deeply disturbing the thought of doing this is, it is going to be done, and the technology permitting this is only a few decades away. He wrote this book in 1970. We're many decades away from that now. They also go on to say that by the year 2018, and we're already here, they're already able and capable of doing all of this, they say the technology will make available to the league a variety of techniques for conducting secret warfare, of which only a bare minimum of security forces need to be apprised. One nation may attack a competitor covertly by bacteriological means, thoroughly weakening the population through which a minimum, with a minimum of fatalities before taking over its own covert armed forces. Alternatively, techniques of weather modification will be used and employed to produce prolonged periods of drought or storm, thereby weakening a nation's capacity and forcing it to accept the demands of the competitor. Go to ToxicSky.org and watch the movie, What in the World Are They Spraying? You will see all of this is happening. Let's stop the infighting. They are relying on chaos between all of us so that we are distracted and we're not looking at the belly of this beast that is hungry for all of us every single day. Understand the symptoms of not only the frequencies from the global grid and all of the wireless frequencies that are dicing and slicing our DNA, but also the symptoms from the overhead aerial death dumps um, as many refer to them, we're talking about the chemtrailing, the geoengineering, uh, it, it, it increases confusion, short-term memory loss, inability to focus, sluggishness in thinking and brain fog, difficulty in concentrating headaches, migraines, vision disruptions, uh, cataracts, allergies, difficulty in breathing. Think about it. When you get allergies, you become sick. What do you do? You go get drugs from Big Pharma, which only mask the illness of the allergies and make you tired. These are all ways in which they keep you uh, unable to be alert and to function. They're disrupting our sleep by the frequencies that they're increasing at night and all of the harp activities overhead. They are exciting frequencies not only in the air, on the ground with all the wireless uh, uh, uh devices that we have, but also pumping it into the ground as well. We are being bathed in frequencies. People are having night sweats. This is reducing our ability to be, get into our REM sleep to repair from that day's expense on our bodies. They are weakening us so that the attack of all of the binary technologies will continue to kill people for plausible deniability, chronic fatigue, autism, loss of employment, unusual family conflicts, relationships that are deteriorating, violent behavior, ADHD, 
weakening our immune systems. This is no joke. This is what they are doing. Leg cramps, back aches, um, DNA breakage. This causes, oh, also another thing, very, very important. Everyone has to get their teeth checked. And this may sound very trite, but I can tell you, any of those, any of you that are listening that have amalgam fillings, that have metal and mercury mixtures, this is being um, uh, conducted like a battery. And the mercury comes out into your brain. And I can say that they planned, I mean, they knew this. We're, we're leaching vapor from our fillings into our organs and, into, and will create brain damage. So you have to go to a special dentist that is capable of removing the mercury. They put a dam in your mouth and they put uh, oxygen on you and they remove this very carefully. So any of you that are listening that can afford to do this, you need to do that because this is all part of the takedown technique and strategy that are that is occurring right now. And they um, they are heating us up. It's the cause for asthma and food allergies. You name it. Go to smartmetersmurder.com and take a look at the list of functional impairments from electromagnetic field exposure um, and radiation frequencies. But getting back to the NASA war document, understand that they are launching robots in the large. They even talk about a choo-choo, C-H-E-W, C-H-E-W, flesh-eating, plant-eating robot that will be let loose to live off the land. And the inventor, Wilkinson, said that he was concerned about the dangers of the robots eating humans because flesh is the preferred way in which it gets its energy. Now, this may sound, again, like a, a sci-fi movie script. Don't aim arrows at the deliverer of this information. Go and look up this information yourself and understand this is all real. We're being attacked on every single level. In the NASA war document, they talk about the use of towers, that's cell phone towers. So again, go to um, antennasearch.com and understand the attack is on every level, as I keep saying. It's on our food supply. It's on our water. Right now in Sonoma County, they're trying to fluoridate the water supply. They're trying to say that it's good. They waltz in people with the agenda uh, to uh, put fluoride in the water supply, and we are battling that right now. They've got a we've got a new health director that uh, came into Sonoma County that is very very dangerous, absolutely very dangerous. Telling everybody that I'll, we must. I'll try have... that on this computer. I just had to switch computers. My last computer locked up. Different. Can you hear me on this one? Yes, I can hear you just fine. I, I cannot okay. stress enough, you know, um, you can have trolls in the chat room. That doesn't matter. We need to, we need to move aside these people that, that will not uh, do their own homework to understand what we're talking about, Clay. We don't have the time to pause for people that do not understand we are on a battlefield in the United States, which has already been taken over by private corporate banks. And, and corporations. We are not under a constitution now. We are being systematically destroyed from within. And unless people understand that, it's over. It's over. And it may already, sadly, be over. Because when you look at all of the things that they're initiating, it is so vast and so deep. Uh, the utilities, for example, across the United States have all signed on and have partnered with ICLEI, I-C-L-E-I. ICLEI is an arm of the United Nations. They are already operating under foreign treaties. This is why they're deploying smart meters. This is why they're arresting people that don't want a new meter. This is why you're going to see your electricity costs skyrocket, because that is the purpose. This is for full spectrum dominance on every level, the food supply, energy, and water, and taking of your property 
they are taking property which includes us as individuals as well. We are considered property. Understand the massiveness of this attack and their thinking behind this. You can read it everywhere. Spend some time on our website. Go to stopthecrime.net, smartmetersmurder.com, toxicsky.org, refuse smartmeters.com, and toxicdrinkingwater.org. Go and search other links and get this information for yourself. Whatever topic uh, you resonate with, pick that up and get it out to your neighbors, your family, your friends and advertise it on your cars with signs and get flyers, print them off and distribute this. This is the only way that we can bring awareness of this enormous monster that is consuming us right now. Uh, we are now just seeing sunrise here in Northern California and on the horizon I see the heavy chem trailing already occurring this morning and it will continue throughout the day, and we are being poisoned. We are being absolutely poisoned. Getting back to the NASA document, I want to say that it is horrific, and posted underneath the document are a number of other uh, radio shows and links. We have defined what blast wave accelerators are, and that's in the NASA document. This was a technique to cause tsunamis. And they came up with this in the 40s. They were actually going to use this instead of the uh, bomb. And um, uh, you can look at that. You know, I, I want to do something I, I want to discuss. I've been covering this. I've been covering this for years, a lot of years. And uh, I, I got discussed 10, 50, 10, 12 years ago. I got kind of discussed because there I kept talking about the news, talking about everything that was going on here, but uh, I didn't have any answers. Now somebody asked me for answers. What's the what's the answer? What's the answer? And uh, actually, one of them came up with something fairly good, fairly good. Uh, uh, you know, with, uh, with buying that food, uh, start to, uh, you know, using uh, reverse osmosis water or water filters. And I've got water filters up on my, up on my site and that uh, you can get. They will even filter out radiation. And, uh, but I came up with something I planned called the Liberty Facility. Because every time, any time, a, uh, oh, here's what, here's what uh, uh, R3 says. Stop eating junk food, stop drinking tap water, stop living in fear, do not do business with criminals. Be peaceful, help each other, pick up and don't put it down. Well, you know, if, if, they, if people wanted to help people like me rather than putting me down, we might be able to get some results here. And well, I'll, the, well, the plan I came up with, go ahead, go ahead there. Well, no, go ahead with your plan. I know we've talked about the Liberty right. Villages, um, but I can say to you, yeah. the, that people need the, to understand the massiveness. We also okay. have a solutions page on our website and uh, ideas in which what people can do. But people also need to take a look at the Phoenix program. This was initiated in the Vietnam War by the CIA and they created mass internal terror in villages. And then look at our Homeland Security and our National Defense Authorization Act and compare that with the China um, uh, black jails. China's black jails. All this is on our website. Uh, China's black jails are exactly what we can expect here in the United States being picked up without football without justification um, and held indefinitely. And so compare the Phoenix program, which is our uh, the, the guideline for Homeland Security, to China's black jails, to the National Defense Authorization Act, and understand 
uh, that we're going to see massive, massive gathering of people that don't comply to the New World Order, which is something you said a bit ago. And, and this is why we do need to form communities to, in order to survive. Right. The, the Liberty Village concept, I, I formulated that on the, uh, all right, uh, let me try this, hang on, just. I'm not hearing you, Clay, so while you're working that out, Clay, I'll just. Clay, I'll can you, yes. Clay, can you try to connect with your other computer again? We're getting a lot of background noise. Go ahead and, uh, uh, Deborah, yes. if you couldn't uh, continue. Yes. Um, I okay, want to go back to the, I want to go back to the NASA hold war on, document please. because I feel that it's exceedingly okay. important that people understand what is ahead of us, and it's the extinction of the human population if we allow this monster to continue. At the very least, we need to apprise people of what is happening on in in, in local levels in our communities right now. We need to understand, and part of that understanding is going to be listening to um, Folly, S-V-A-L-I. She is an ex-Illuminati, and we have her uh, on, uh, you can hear her talks on StopTheCrime.net so that you can understand what the Illuminati's uh, goal is. Uh, hold on just a second here. Let me uh, try to... Uh get us back up here, Deborah. So, hold on just a moment. Okay. The producer has suggested that I just keep talking while you're working on that, Clay. So I will. Uh, uh, go to all right. Uh, go to StopTheCrime.net and listen to what Spalling has to say, an ex-Illuminati understand what their plans have been. They spend decades and decades and decades orchestrating their plans of attack upon us. She says there's 1% Illuminati in the United States. Uh, uh, they uh, looked at the United States as a mission uh, program to come in, which they settled in Pittsburgh. And their accounting division is in Alexander, Virginia. And they have strongholds in San Diego, California, and in Portland, Oregon. They say, she says, Folly says, that they represent 1% of the U.S. population. And they put themselves in positions on city councils, on county board of supervisors, in judgeships, any and everything that they can control, uh, along with all of their minions. This is why the Rand Corporation technique of uh, predetermined outcomes is what all of us are experiencing when we go to our city, lo our local city town council. They don't listen to us. They continue to approve um, uh, the phony, fake lies of global warming. All the cities have just uh, been required by executive order to comply to a climate action plan. You need to call your local city planning department and find out when they will uh, implement the climate action plan. This is to monitor and regulate greenhouse gas emissions. All of this is a lie. All of this is phony science. What we need to do is enlist older, retired people to help with homeschooling our children. We need to get them out of the public education. Go and look at the Common Core curriculum. It is an international education program that is now being launched into all of the schools in the United States. It's dumbing down of math and science. It's called Common Core Curriculum. They are seizing our children. And if we don't get um, into the younger generations and get them out of the lies, they're rewriting history. In the NASA document, they talk about how uh, educational in, uh, universities and institutions will be closed and replaced by um, computer-based learning. That way they can put the information in. You don't talk to teachers. They're creating a solo society 
where they keep people plugged into their computers and isolated. This is all part of the planned takeover. They want us isolated. They don't want us traveling. They don't want us talking on the radio like we are right now. We must resist. They're starting to close down uh, libraries in, in Ireland, for example. There are a number of libraries that are now being closed in favor of computers and everything, all the books now being on computer. They're able to rewrite everything that they're teaching. They're rewriting corporate history. They're, re they're rewriting science. All the children in first and second and third grades are studying uh, global warming and how they are uh, uh, exploiting the Earth's resources. They're being taught right now to be fearful of their use of, of any resources in their homes. They're being taught to actually spy on their families, whether their families have guns. They're being uh, told that they have to fill out forms and get vaccinated. Everything about all of our children is being put on a huge database. It's a massive data mining of children so that they can collect the information on each individual and categorize them into what job they will best fit. And, and this is common core curriculum. Bill Gates is involved in funding large, massive computer programs. He's also behind Monsanto, and Bill Gates is also involved in the overhead aerial spraying. So understand the massiveness of these monsters and the attacks upon every aspect of our lives. Go and check out Common Core Curriculum. We have a tab on StopTheCrime.net, excellent information, a book that has been written uh, that people can purchase, but you can also go online and just start finding out. Uh, in fact, uh, there was a resolution that was just adopted. Um, uh, by you know by the National Republican Committee, saying that they want to terminate Common Core. Well, again, uh, the Republican National Republican Committee they're all operating under the uh, Banksters uh, program and regime. We have been taken. When you go to StopTheCrime.net under the NASA war documents, pay attention to the information called Forbidden Gates. Forbidden Gates. Understand that what the uh, definition for special needs children in schools is now going to be. It's a new definition for special needs. It's expanded to include uh, children that will not have DNA enhancements. They are creating uh, superhumans, and they've created autism. Autism is an environmentally created society. We now have one in every 50 births are born onto the autism spectrum. Understand that autistic uh, people do not have the ability to be reciprocal, and they have what they call mind blindness. They cannot read emotions. They don't express emotions. They're generally loners. They generally do not marry. And uh, they will be pushing the buttons in the future. These are somewhat like a human robot where they just don't have the, um, the capability to have the feelings that we have. Again, the um, Luciferian elite power structure looks at us as being frail and weak, and we're too kind, as it says in, on the NASA, in the NASA document on page uh, 66. Also in the NASA document on page 43, they talk about using micron-sized mechanized dust, which will be distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into the lungs. The dust mechanically bores into the lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. They say this is a wholly new class of weaponry and it is legal. You need to understand the moment of our time. We're already doing this overseas. Um, we've got links again under the NASA document that talks about how we've been using drones, we've been spraying toxins uh, in cities overseas in Syria and Libya, etc. 
the biological attacks that our um, uh, military-industrial complex is claiming that other countries are doing to their people is being covertly, of course, orchestrated intentionally. Again, they must attack and kill much of the civilian population because this is all part of depopulation. Also, one of the reasons that they've allowed women now to be in the military, because they claim in their source documents, read their source documents, that um, they needed to also terminate uh, women that were of childbearing years. So what better way, of course, than to allow them to become uh, and join the military? And this is why they are mistakenly, quote-unquote, intentionally bombing civilians and cities and killing children. It's, again, under the guise of a warfare, which they've contrived, and they're killing and murdering the population globally. And this is what is happening. Some of our greatest threats right now, of course, are the uh, endless wars, now the war of uh, the attack upon all of us in the United States, but all of the frequencies and the overhead geoengineering spraying. Understand that. Get rid of your wireless devices. If you have to have a wireless device, do not keep it in your house. Keep it in your garages. Don't put them by your bed. Don't use them as an alarm clock. Understand that it is slicing and dicing your DNA. If you have a smart meter on your home, get it off. It is a biohazard on your home. You can go to freedomtaker.com and order the uh, forms that you can send in to your utility company, advising them to take your smart meter off immediately. And then if they don't, you can buy a safe replacement analog meter that they took away from you in the first place. Understand we are under heavy attack with the use of frequencies um, and all of the toxic foods, water, and air spraying. They are polluting our planet intentionally. And most importantly, take a look at the solutions page on StopTheCrime.net and also look at and read all of the source documents. Also understand what is happening is massive mind control. That is the purpose um, of uh, being able to control us. And you will see on our website an image of HARP and the HARP arrays uh, on a map of the globe. And the image, you can see heavy harp beams sweeping down across the planet. And they are harp mind control transmissions that we are all under. And, most, and it's the most direct and intrusive way they are monitoring all of us. And understand, while, again, you can still ambulate, still think, it's your duty. It is your duty to get this information out and use the source documents to do that. You don't need to guess or create anything on your own. It's all spelled out specifically in the source documents. And I can say that we're in a time of universal deceit and telling the truth is a revolutionary act. And that's George Orwell's quote. And just um, do your homework, please help us. Let's join together. Let's work together. Let's get this information out for the sake of humanity. Understand, this is for the sake of our existence. This is for the sake of the children that we have to protect. We have to get this information out. We are under, we are fast falling into a complete totalitarian government. It's a scientific tyranny. It's a takeover through technologies. This is going to ultimately be total oppression through technologies. This is the new world order. This is a system that recognizes no limits of its authority with force control over every aspect of public and private life without regard for ethics, morality, or life itself. Again, as we've talked about, it controls the media, the politics, economy, speech, and engages in widespread use of propaganda campaigns and total surveillance. The system stays in political power through mass terror. This information is not meant to traumatize anybody or cause fear. You've got to assimilate this information. It is horrible, absolutely. But then understand that this is real. This is happening. 
and get in the mode of, of giving out this information to people on whatever level you can. Uh, before the nation states were firewalls to prevent tyranny, that's all been taken now. And go and look at the movies on StopTheCrime.net. Understand this is a global takedown of all humanity. We're all uh, one, and we must stick together. That's the only way we're ultimately going to even survive, or at least some of us. They say in the source documents... Divide and conquer, Divide and conquer is the oldest maxim in warfare. And, uh, you know, I've said that uh, years and years ago, I, I volunteered for Vietnam by 17. I wanted to go fight the communists. And then I found out every plank on the communist manifesto had been intact in America for almost 100 years. This year, actually, it would make that number five installed of 100 years. Clay, but, I'm not, I'm not that, hearing you. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can uh, fix that here. Uh, while you are checking your um, your situation, I want okay. everybody to also um, look at the Dome Project uh, to enclose most major U.S. cities. It's interesting because it's a project uh, in Lassen County, uh, in, just a few hours north of um, where we are, uh, not too far um, from uh, the Oregon border, actually, in California. And it's a dome project that's going to enclose an existing 2,000 residents in Lassen County. And they say that uh, it's an $8.4 million project which will create a state-of-the-art uh, environmental shield enclosing the town of under 2,000 residents in Lassen County in Northern California. The town will be used as a proving ground for technology that will one day enclose major U.S. cities, especially those prone to weather-related disasters such as tornadoes and hurricanes, with a clear protective dome. The structure and material is believed to be capable to resist against a Category 5 hurricane. Now understand, through the fear of weaponized weather events, they want to put us in plastic bubbles. This is absolutely insane. This is how they're going to create, one of the ways they will create human settlement zones out of absolute weaponized weather fear and lack of food and resources. And they're experimenting and doing everything they can. This is absolutely unfathomable. There's going to be a new movie coming out in August called Alyssum. I would recommend that everybody look at the trailer right now. It talks about how the elites will be encapsulated in uh, somewhat of a plastic city. It will not be um, on Earth, and how they will be free of poverty and wars and illnesses and disease, and they will have clean water and air and food. And then they travel down on Earth, which is a hellhole of mass pollution and devastation, which is what they are doing right now. Okay, Deborah. Deborah. Everything yes. will last away, and, uh, but uh, I'll try to uh, pull him back in and uh, just continue if you don't mind. Yes, um, I will because this is so important. Um, I want to wrap up um, because I'm looking at the clock by uh, giving our websites out again. StopTheCrime.net imperative that you go to the source documents. Uh, download or watch on, on movie. All right. Did we get it back? Yes. Yes, you sound great now, Clay. And you hear me now? Yes. And we, we were just going over the websites, Clay. I was starting with Stop the Crime and going to the source documents. We have missed. All right. I'm well, trying to get back on here. Okay. We have many uh, uh, many source documents, the Iron Mountain documentary, and you can download the uh, document itself, the Silent Weapons, Quiet Wars document, which is a 1954 Bilderberg policy. It's only 41 pages. I recommend everybody read that. Also read the NWO plans exposed by an insider in 1969. Uh, that is an unbelievable document. 
then look at the NASA war plans against the continental United States, understand this is real, and then uh, watch uh, the video resonance, beings of frequency, and understand what they're doing with all the artificial magnetic fields, which will damage all living things. Uh, go to uh, refusesmartmeters.com uh, and go to the sister site, smartmetersmurder.com. Take a look at technocracy. Technocracy was the planned takeover back in the 30s of uh, our infrastructure. They just did not have the technology back then. And again, uh, watch uh, the uh, Barry Trower, T-R-O-W-E-R, YouTube videos that we have posted up on that site. Uh, understand that the utilities have teamed up against us across the nation. They've all signed on to the United Nations. In fact, when I uh, went to the PG&E annual shareholders meeting in 2012 in San Francisco, uh, they uh, introduced a wa rather well-known attendee during that meeting, and that was Rothschild. So uh, this is all uh, being covertly rolled out and deployed the meter um, uh, the change out of the meters globally. Again, this is for sp full spectrum uh, energy dominance and control of all utilities. The meters will not only include your electricity, but your gas, your water, and it will tie into your food. Uh, again, look at some of the um, conferences that we've done where we connect the dots on how the grid mesh network works. Uh, we uh, investigated IEEE documents uh, out of Europe, and we discovered that the ultimate plan is uh, to collapse uh, the energy system as we know it, and everything will be based on nuclear energy, nuclear power, because they admit that the renewables that they are trying to scare us into using uh, are not going to be reliable because of weather events. Well... We know the weather is completely controlled by them. So when we switch on over into uh, solar, for example, right now the solar capacity has already been reduced because of the plasma being set up overhead every day by the chemtrailing. And also NASA documents indicate that there's a 20% global dimming uh, because of the plasma. We're all suffering from decreased vitamin D, lack of sunlight, increased moles, mildews, and funguses. Uh, this is changing again. We spoke earlier about this is changing the pH in the soil. This is a massive, massive assault. And uh, go to uh, uh, toxicsky.org. Again, watch the movie, What in the World Are They Spraying? Listen to the conference of uh, the genocide from the sky by Alfred Lamont Weber. We also have a tab on our website, uh, Loren Murray. She recently released um, some a video on um, uh, what is happening with Fukushima. That's up there on our website as well. Very important to understand how uh, Fukushima is not only affecting all of Japan, with hundreds of thousands of, of expected cancers and deformities, uh, but uh, even worse. Uh, it's a genocide program, of course. And uh, copy flyers off of our websites. There are flyers that you can download from all of our sites. You can create your own flyers if you'd like.